stain in the ceiling Why does it keep saying Hello everybody and welcome to yet another exciting episode of Tyrone's Garage. I'm in my vibes. Today's a good day, you guys. I am extremely pumped to bring you an episode directed by sheer intuition alone. And who knows what exciting discoveries will be unfolded on this incredible journey we're about to take together. Or, you know what, it, we could just enjoy a lovely, calm, chilled Friday afternoon. Well, morning. It is quarter past eight, and we are enjoying a lovely hot cup of coffee. I had myself an incredible wake and bake this morning, my goodness. A friend of mine managed to acquire some rather potent marijuana. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So last night I'm chilling with my bros and we, we, we got the we got the blunts going. We got a few in rotation. And he's just like, Oh, uh I I left the weed behind because, you know, he thought of oh, my other friend was gonna bring really high quality indoor. And this indoor is so good, bro, that it just, it, it, it makes you feel more, I suppose, present and in the moment, which I find to be very helpful. Anyway, so it's like, yeah, okay, so I thought my friend, this guy was going to bring the, the indoor, but he didn't. So we smoked this other greenhouse, it was still really good. Two blunts in rotation, we got really high, came home, jammed the fuck out of Fallout 3, uh, and then promptly passed out. <laughs> uh, then I was uh, woken up to, you know, a very, very wonderful smoke that just got me into the mood to record today. Hmm. You know, I'm I'm watching this being recorded and I'm seeing the audio levels jump up and down as I'm speaking and I realize that that my my voice is creating some syncopation with the music in such a way that it becomes void of copyright and and is is, is subject to fair use, especially considering that I'm using this music for entertainment. I mean, educational purposes. Alright guys, that's enough of that. Let's keep going with the show. <laughs> oh god, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll up. I got myself some sweet new rolling papers, you guys. So, I wanna try those out. Well, I say I got myself some sweet new rolling papers. What I actually mean is my friend uh, Liema went to school this morning. Uh, I mean, that's not his name. Oh, God, I'm going to have to cut that out. Fuck. Okay, it's only five minutes. Four. We are just coming up onto the four-minute mark <laughs> of the podcast. And I'm realizing that I'm going to have to edit out some anonymous names I should not have mentioned. But that's alright. So my friend, um, he had to go to uni today. Good old university. And, um, yeah, he left me with some sweet rolling papers, which we're going to try. And I, I got me some dank here, some sweet, sweet cooch. 
And yeah, I just I'm I'm enjoying myself. I I can't believe I still have coffee. Oh yay. Do you know that feeling when you think you finished your coffee and you reach over, you grab the mug, you're like, oh wait, I didn't finish it. And it's still just perfect temperature. Oh my god. Hmm. Guys, let's have a let's have a little conversation. Uh, I think we should have ourselves a conversation. I took one sip of my coffee, and the topic for today's episode came to mind. First of all, I just want to say something. I'm in my vibes. That's the topic. That's the the title of of this episode of Tyrant's Garage. I'm in my vibes. In my vibes. That's well, yeah. That's the title. And but but but, but we are gonna have some fun. Some fun conversations. Particularly, let's talk about this thing we, we 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 like drinking coffee in the morning, and we like we like maybe smoke cigarette or we we smoke marijuana. And so it's most people they 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 reach for cell phone first thing they wake up, and I think to myself I I think to myself. What a wonderful world. No, I joke. Haha. <laughs> no, seriously though. Chemical dependencies, you guys. Are, are they are they are they a a helpful thing or are they a hindrance? What's the deal with chemical dependencies? And at what point do you draw the line between self-care and self-harm? I think, I think, and in all things, one should consider the simple and and rather easy practice of moderation. The moment excess is um, in effect, that could be considered detrimental. However, when one is approaching the ingestion of whatever substance in a positive mindset, one of self-care. Moderation does seem to present itself as uh, rather applicable. In saying that, I'm going to take a sip of this wonderful dose of caffeine, which I projected an affirmation into this morning. By the way, you can do that, you guys. You can project affirmations, thoughts, emotions, light, fields into objects and things and it's it's really a, a powerful ability I do that with my coffee every morning and yeah I, I also do it with like tea and stuff sorry about that guys I was doing a little bit of audio adjustment totally worth it to have music on the podcast by the way just saying. I know you guys probably can't hear it, but it really does help me keep in a sort of like conversational rhythm. By the way, you guys, I got a bay leaf plant. Check that out. I might put some pictures on Instagram. Her name is Poppy, okay, you guys. And she has this um, beautiful um, personality. I've never met a plant with a personality before, but she is pretty cool. And yeah, this morning I woke up to find, like, she was kind of like tilted on her side. And it was like, she was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Trying to get my attention for some water. Anyway, she's a bay leaf plant. And bay leaves are beautiful, beautiful, magical um plants, especially in pagan Wiccan magic. You can always write a desire, an intention, a goal, or something on one of the leaves. You, you just pick one. A good one. One, preferably, that the plant gives you. And then you write your, your like desire on the leaf, and you, you burn that in a, on a candle, with a white candle. And that that is very very magical. That makes that makes things happen. So that's one of the many magical properties of the bay leaf plant. Um, it's also just a wonderful ingredient to cook with, especially if you love a curry. And who doesn't love a freaking curry? I mean, 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like plants, you guys. I love plants. For those of you who have been checking out the um, Pinterest boards, following along with the Chappy Chat, um, you know about the unique words board on my um my 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 pinterest and there's another one there called you well unique plants or something like along those lines and i am going to try let's see if this works ah there we go how's that for a little bit of ambiance Okay, yeah, let's do that. I've been playing a lot of Fortnite, and th there's a thing in Fortnite... Not Fortnite, Jesus Christ. Beg my... Beg your pardon, guys. I'm going to be speaking a lot of French on this show. So, for those of you who have sensitive ears... Well, fuck off. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. No. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm just saying, sometimes I do swear, and... I don't know, I might bleep this bleep some stuff out, which which could be very time-consuming and tedious in the long run, but in the interest of the kids, and also YouTube's whatever rules they have around that, I might have to bleep out swear words. Um, I completely lost my train of thought. Oh yes, plants. We were talking about plants. Yes, we were talking about plants. We had just finished discussing um, chemical dependencies and whether or not they're beneficial or not. And now we're going to talk about some plants, guys. So, for those of you who know about the Genesis pattern, you're perfectly uh, aware that the motions of the Genesis pattern can be likened to cellular meiosis or mitosis. And this is something that occurs in the conception of galaxies, universes, and it's something I see very often in fractals. If you look at fractals, you can always see there's so much very intricate geometry in it. And um, I'm, I'm very partial to these, these symbols of, uh, of sacred geometry that illustrate uh, immaculate conception like in the Genesis pattern and you know the flower of life and Metatron's cube even even understanding that um, at the at the at the uh, center of a star tetrahedron you have the the vector equilibrium or um, cube of the hedron and then that 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 the um, the 64 tetrahedron grid is in direct correspondence with Metatron's cube. And that's um, indicative of formless consciousness. By the way, you guys, everything I'm saying now is very, very, very highly researched within my thesis. And I will be publishing that thesis very soon, which has a significant amount of research um, backing it. Anyway, this... this um. Understanding of sacred geometry, the motions of, um, you know, the Genesis pattern, and seeing the Fibonacci sequence, and just the manifestation of universal consciousness in so many diverse yet connected ways in nature and throughout the universe really, really compelled me to, to start to admire the beauty around me. But in architecture, in in music, in in nature, and I've I love looking at these time lapse images of flowers blooming, particularly um, lotus blossoms and uh, what have you, because it's very very similar to what a fractal looks like. And for those of you who truly have had a mystical experience, you you know that it's very very similar to the way the, the universe manifests itself. And if you look at plants, and and they're, they're just unique design, it becomes so apparent that all of reality is in fact composed of a one consciousness. 
and it's just entirely mesmerizing and beautiful to be able to have the medium to experience it and and that medium of course I'm referring to is my well well the body and in the mind and the soul all, all of which are, are these beautiful and magnificent vehicles of consciousness that we can we can honestly utilize to explore and discover the the miraculous world constantly unfolding and developing before us and around us. It truly is sublime. Yeah. Oh, and snowflakes. Snowflakes do this as well. They also have this really unique fractal design. But but I see it particularly in, in well you see it in everything. You can see it in seashells. You can see it in the the harmonic proportions of the human body, as illustrated by the Vitruvian man. Uh, there's so many other like it's just everywhere. If you just take a few moments to appreciate the the beauty around around you, you you can truly see eternity in a daffodil or a lotus flower, depending on what what you're into. I like all plants. I like plants, you guys. I'm not gonna be picky. Uh, I'm not gonna. Although, you know, I do want a bonsai. That being said, hey guys, if anybody is listening to this podcast who wants to give me a little treat, I love bonsais. I'm just saying. They, I know they're they're particularly pricey, uh, but you know, if ever anyone's in the market, just you know, hit me up and um, I will definitely give you freaking creds, son. I'm also looking at like goat horns and stuff. They they and like antlers. Well, particularly like I'm looking at this ram. It's got these like curly goat horns, very very spirally, Fibonacci sequence. Also, just again, the harmonic resonance, just prevalent in everything, clearly illustrating the, the that that you know the natural benevolence of the universe. Oh guys, for those of you who are interested, I do have a Pinterest board called Adorable, and it's just full of cute animals. I'm currently looking at a mama otter, and she's cuddling her baby otter, and she's like lying on her back floating down this lake, and the baby otter's lying on her tummy, and they're just cuddling, and it's freaking adorable, and it's making me so much more warm than a cup of coffee could ever, ever hope to make <laughs> make me. Alright guys, we are coming up at the... Oh, we're 18 minutes within the podcast. I'm just making sure we're still recording, and we are. I'm definitely enjoying browsing through this adorable Pinterest board while I'm talking to you about nature. Oh my god! Sorry, you guys. There's a little... I'm looking at a, a rabbit eating a grape right now. And it's just little, it's munching on this little grape. Oh my god, this is, and his cheeks are so fluffy. Oh my god, it's too much. It's too cute. I'm downloading this. Oh, I'm keeping it for myself. The world needs to know the beauty. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna post it on Facebook, why the fuck not? This is the type of thing that I, is safe for Facebook, I suppose. Oh god, let me not. Not on the podcast. Not on the podcast. Not on the podcast. But, yeah, I'd rather share it with you guys. Oh, wow. What else do we have here? Oh, we've got a little cheetah. Or I believe it. Is it a leopard or is it a cheetah? Let's have a look here. I believe it's a, a leopard. And it's having its ears stroked. Oh my god, and it's just having the best old time. This little this little fluffy munchkin over here. By the way, guys, do, does anybody here have pets? Anybody have, like, you know, like, fluffy animals that they keep? 
cats, doggies, hamsters, birds, fish, plants, imaginary friends. Does anybody here have schizophrenia? <laughs> Um, elementals, fairies, huh, huh, Jim? Um, Tomagotchis, no, probably not. Um, yeah, but like pets, does anybody, that's pretty cool. I love animals, you guys, and I know so many people who work very closely with animals, and uh, there's been a lot of development regarding CBD and its usage for um, treatment uh, for, for animals, you know, regarding various symptoms. You know, there's nothing too specific. You know, I know there are cats with glaucoma. <laughs> but uh, there are, like, numerous other things that are being very successfully treated by CBD regarding um, animals, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking of a friend of mine who runs a business, which where where that's that's the really cool, and she draws and stuff as well. So um, I don't know. Should I give a shout out? Yeah, right. Well, my might as well. Kayla Anderson, if you're listening. Shout out to you and everything you do, and I hope you're okay with me mentioning your name. If not, please get to me and I will edit this in post. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I am rolling with the, some sweet new rolling paper. It's, um, what is this? It's like a very nice hemp quality. It's slim, it's clear, the filters are white. Um, it's like South African rolling paper, and we got some good, some good smoke, some smoking marijuana here, some of that good Kush, and we are gonna turn on over to the Chappy Chat. Bum, 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 the Chappy Chat. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of the Chappy Chat. We're going to look for some unique words or some interesting facts about the universe and we're going to have ourselves a damn good time. Alright, so first of all, every cell in your body listens to your thoughts. Wow, that's amazing. Fundamental metaphysical notion there. You're a psychophysical unit. That is, your body affects your thoughts and your thoughts affects your body. So think about that, you know. Your your mental states, it's it's gonna it's gonna translate to your nervous system and thus thus um, your physiology and um, your and life, vice versa. Your body is gonna affect your mind and your mental state. Always good to remember to keep that balance. Very very important. All right, let's see what else we got. I no longer force things. What flows flows. What crashes crashes. I only have space and energy for things that are meant for me. Ooh, lovely. <laughs> I do quite enjoy the Chappy Chat. I never really expected it to become so profound. But um, it's, a, it's a fun segment. Let's keep going. What, what else do we have here? Instead of fighting your inner Demons, examine them with curiosity and learn why they are there. Offer them love and understanding each and every time they come to visit. Aww, that's adorable. That just gave me the perfect idea for the thumbnail for this episode. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get myself a little horny boy. I mean, Jesus. I'm, I'm going to get myself... A horny... Oh God! I'm thinking of the illustration for the thumbnail for this vid for this episode, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use like a devil horn character. That's what I meant to say. A devil horn character. Yes. Okay. Moving swiftly on to <laughs> some more of the chappy chat here. 
while I attempt to prevent myself from uh, digging a, a hole of some sort. Anyway. Oh, check it out, guys. We've got some ways to strengthen your aura. Hey, what, what? let's go through that. Metaphysical podcast might as well include some ways to strengthen your aura. All right, so these are just suggestions, you guys. I would never, ever, in a million, bajillion, I would never, ever consider or think or contemplate asking you to do something that you're uncomfortable with. However, in saying all of that, these are some mere suggestions, you know. Pick the one that resonates the most with you uh, uh, as to how to strengthen your aura. So, mind your words. Eat some fruit. Uh, set some boundaries. Get some sunshine. Do some pranayama breathing. Get some nature. High vibe music. I'm in my vibes. Move your body. Do good for others. Limit alcohol. Meditate. Mind your behavior. Rest, rest, rest. Drink more water. Move. Ooh, have more fun. Sound healing. Burn some sage. And keep some, some, just keep help, cultivate healthy relationships. That's, that's one I added in there. Um, yeah. Cultivate healthy relationships. Let's, uh, let's continue on here with the, with the chappy chat. And see if we have any more interesting facts or unique words to share before. Or we spark up this bu 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 blunt. All right, I'm scrolling through, and you know what? We've done quite a lot, actually. My goodness, I'm actually looking at this this board, and I'm realizing I need, I actually genuinely need to look for some more words to share on the show. Because we've burnt through these mofos real fast, haven't we? I'm, that's, that's, that is marvelous. I'm very happy about that fact. Let's see what we can find. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. I found a really nice word. Let's have a look. Um, I, I, if, if only it would open so we could... I can read it a bit clear. Oh, 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 Check it, son. Check it, son. I love this word. This word is great. Check it, son. This word is awesome. Check it, son. This word is great. Ooh. Super luminal. Traveling faster than the speed of light. Super luminal. Fun fact, you guys. You can travel faster the speed than the speed of light. And for those of you who don't know, when you travel faster than the speed of light, you can bend space-time and thus fold it, which means you can essentially materialize in any point in the universe you want. You can uh, go to uh, moments that you have experienced or moments that you are going to experience. You can basically manifest yourself in any quantum superposition point you choose. This happens every night when you dream your astral body your light body, your Merkaba, is a perfect vehicle for you to go super luminal <laughs> and travel faster than the speed of light. Um, yeah, yeah. Deja vu, guys. That's So, deja vu is the result of, of becoming super luminal. Because you, you, you accelerate beyond the speed of light in the astral dimension. Um... And you go to the future, or the day you 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 yeah you go to tomorrow basically, and then you wake up and then you experience what you saw in your sleep and you're like deja vu, and that is the result of becoming super luminal, traveling faster than the speed of light. Oh wow! I think we're gonna call it right there on the chapter chat. What do you say? I'm gonna stop. 
right there. That's a perfect note to end on the Chappy Chat. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum. That was the Chappy Chat, you guys. Welcome back. And we have been rolling a blunt for the entire duration of that segment. And I'm here to tell you that it is nowhere near complete. Because because I was just so engaged in everything that was being said there that I completely neglected to roll this marijuana cigarette. However, and, and in continuing with the theme of this show, I must say, I'm in my vibes! All right, you guys, we're gonna talk up. So, so, for those of you who are uh, following the art decode, Jarrell and I should be recording either today or tomorrow for season two of the art decode. And um, yeah, he's been he's been very awesome in being a guest here on Tyrant's Garage as well. We're gonna be seeing a lot more of him on the show, you guys. Um, so that's going to be great. Stay tuned for that. But yeah, yeah, season two of the Art Decode's coming up. And who knows, there's also, there might also be some other interesting surprises along the way. <laughs> I don't want to say too much, but for those of you who are following along, you're, you're going to be seeing a lot of exciting changes happening with Universal U and, and Dupes Closet and uh, yeah there is another company we're working with that I, I don't know I'm not really sure I want to mention but Megaton Girl Corporation is also quite prevalent in our works um, that's Nikki she does a lot of amazing stuff uh, with toys and, and, and like, like helping kids and stuff like that and then Dupes Closet you guys check out Dupes Closet dudes uh, specifically the Instagram, Jarrell's artwork is honestly groundbreaking. If you want like a, an update on what's happening in the multiverse, if you want to plug into like the stream of, of just what's going on in the multiverse, like a, a, an intergalactic broadcast, so to speak, much like this channel and, and podcast is, then I would suggest checking out Dupes Closet that at Dupes Closet that Instagram that's my boy and um, yeah you'll have a good time seriously all right let's see what else we can do on the show all right I've got a blunt <laughs> I've got a blunt you guys guess what I have a blunt and it's um rather large and we gonna spark it up right now I'm burning the um, the tip so that it just catches real good. All right, and I've rolled a bullet filter. For those of you who don't know, that's just when it's a perfect oh a bullet filter. You can have like a W filter or an S filter, an M filter, uh, depending on the weed or the or the joint. I I vary the filters, or I believe they're called roaches. Um, yeah, sometimes they are called dugans or tips or whatever. But yeah, this this is sure to do the trick. And then so, and we're gonna continue here on Tyrant's Garage. So I'm gonna spark. I'm gonna actually pause the recording so I can spark up because I'm really enjoying this this repartee we're experiencing. And we are back, you guys. Uh, just for the sake of the podcast, I'm gonna I'm gonna spark up on on the on the audio. Well, that's lovely. Yeah, you know. It's been pretty cold, actually, here in sunny South Africa. We are looking at 8 degrees Celsius as of right bloody now. And it is... 
quarter past died. And we're having ourselves just a wonderful time. I'm in my vibes. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to, just to do the podcast this morning. And share with you, you know. Ugh. Yep, I'm just toking up here, you guys, so don't mind the dead air. It's just uh, me toking up. For those of you who have marijuana, this is the perfect opportunity for you to smoke if, if you do feel so inclined. To everybody joining me out there, cheers. La Chayibba. Oh. Sometimes when I smoke, it like gets like in my like nasal passages, and I get like this like runny nose feeling. Uh, it's like I feel a little bit stuffy, but it's kind of a good feeling. That's weird. Oh my god! Why did why did I say? <laughs> Oh fuck! This. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bum bum bum. This episode of Dyer's Garage is brought to you by Maswak Toothpaste. Maswak. For a healthier pineal gland. Honey, have you been brushing your teeth? We are all individualized expressions of universal mind experiencing itself. Aww. Maswak. For a healthier pineal gland. Bum bum bum. Yeah, we're having ourselves a good time here, you guys. And, uh, yeah, magic. Magic, secret societies, talismans and symbols. Check it out, we've got runes, we've got Taoist talismans, we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got Kabbalistic magic. We've got Enochian magic, what you want, what you want, I can do it for you. Also, I do wands and stuff, you know. Ceremonial magic is very powerful, you guys. But in saying that, Jarrell and I are working on some stuff that is sure to shake the arcane world to its core, and and I'm and I'm so excited. Stay tuned for Tyron's honest grimoire and the arcane arcanium coming soon. Also, Infinity Quest, a role-playing game for you D&D fans out there. This is not D&D. This is entirely something new. This is Infinity Quest. It involves the Dungeon Master, the Questioner, and the Player character. That's going to be you guys for whoever decides to play out there. And you get to make yourself your own character based on some roles, some stat roles. You get to choose attributes and weapons and whatever you decide to do, whatever decisions you make with the with the dungeon master there, and uh, as the questioner, um, you're going to be receiving a lot of questions like, "Who are you? What world are you in? What does your character do? What is your character carrying? Do they have rope on them? Do they have? Um, what are their motivations? What are their goals? You know, what 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 is?" What is the flame in their lantern that lights the, the path that they are walking on? You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be exciting. And for those of you who are interested, please let me know. Jarrell and I really want to make a channel that, that illustrates uh, some of the fundamentals of this game and how it's played. And we're going to be putting links in the actual game to this channel. To kind of give you guys an example of how to play beyond the actual instructions, which are 
very, very well thought out and put together, if I do say so myself, because, uh, yeah, let's just say Jarrell and I have been working really, really hard on this, and for those of you who are into that kind of thing, I'm pretty sure that you'll, you'll, you'll find just hours of, of, of fun to be had from this incredible game. Well, I'm high. <laughs> this bud is so good. Oh, it smells amazing. I love, I love the smell. I wish Smell-O-Vision was invented. It's like, seriously, where is Smell-O-Vision, you guys? We need that in our lives. For those of you with psychic powers out there, <laughs> I'm sure you can back me up. On, on just how beautiful this marijuana smells this morning. We're looking at a, a fine winter harvest. For those of you who are in America, I know it's like summer or something, but for our uh, European viewers, I hope you're enjoying the chilly weather. Keep yourselves warm out there, okay, you guys? And eat chocolate. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm, I'm, oh wow. I'm going through the occult board of the, the Pinterest here, and I'm looking at all these symbols. I, I seem to have developed an interest for magical languages. I've got the alphabet, uh, Shell Metatron, and various other symbolic um, s magical s uh, languages here and it's very interesting to see just how broad uh, this particular school of thought extends it's um i'm also looking at various seals like this the the, the solomon seals numerous alchemical symbols um and what have you. Hey guys, Lavender, Dragon's Blood, Mugwort and Thyme are excellent herbs to burn and they have beautiful effects. Thyme has a purifying effect. Um, Dragon's Blood can give you s strength and it gets, rid it gets rid of unwanted energies. Lavender is very calming and it promotes peace and relaxation and mugwort gives you good dreams and it's really helpful before bed okay you guys let's see where we are in the, sh in the episode okay so we're coming up uh, at just oh we're, we're gonna be ending the episode real soon I'm gonna smoke up finish smoking and then yeah I think a few more updates and announcements and we can conclude this episode, what do you say? Oh, by the way, my Instagram was hacked. <laughs> so, my new Instagram is tyronbowers1111. That's tyronbowers with four ones. tyronbowers1111 lowercase t y or no it's capital t tyron capital b bowers 1111 my instagram is going to be receiving a whole new revamp because it got hacked so yeah for those of you who are following me on instagram um please report that account because that person is uh, impersonating me 
and we simply won't be having any of that, will, will we? Alright, you guys. <laughs> Thank you, as always, for watching. <laughs> Oh, it's just ne never a dull moment here in Tyrod's Garage. Never, ever, ever. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell, be notified. Don't, don't subscribe to no algorithm, boy. Choose the media you want to experience. And yeah, stay tuned and I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, yeah, you guessed it. Love yourselves. Baboom. find ourselves at the precipice of an ever-changing mirror of love. Eons and eons spent waiting for this moment. Eons and eons for this moment to arrive. And now... It's finally here, and now, it's finally here.